Thank you for tuning in to the Wendy Inspire channel and for joining our happy BME village where everyone belongs. So no matter who you are, how you are, or what you are, you're safe here with us here in our happy BME village. Thursday and on special Thursday we take a moment and we pause and we find the bright side so lately I've been having not so chipper not so phenomenal days and I wanted to share my strategy as to what I do when I'm having a not so perfect day and one of the main things that I do is I grab my sword I read the Bible on a regular basis and when I feel that I'm going through my greatest challenges, I read it even deeper. Something that I am uh, becoming more aware of is the process of studying the Bible. And that brings me back to uh, Isaiah chapter 28, verse 10. So let me find Isaiah for you. Uh, chapter 28, verse 10. Where is it? And it reads, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. And what that means to me is when it comes to studying the word, we should not only take one verse or one scripture and apply it, we should actually find other similar verses or similar scriptures that confirm or support or brings more attention to that specific scripture. So when we read one piece of the, the scripture, it's important to read the entire context, the entire background, and by doing so, it gives us a better understanding. So again, I haven't been having the best days, so what I do when I'm having a not so fantastic day is I pull a scripture. And the way I find the scriptures is I Google it. I Google scripture for anxiety, scripture for sadness, scripture for being challenged, scripture for being overwhelmed. And the online Google will give you um, some scriptures to review. Now, I don't personally read the scriptures online. I like to read the scriptures from my Bible because a lot of things are changed and altered. And I do understand that the Bible is also updated from thousands and thousands of years. But I feel like this, the King James Version is a version that's closer to the original so I prefer to read the King James Version so one of the scriptures that I referred to during my not so perfect not so fantastic not so great day was where is it I actually had it marked but I think my little marker fell out so it is Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 through 8 and it reads be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes, passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. So I, I actually break this scripture down. So in many versions, it will say, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplications, with thanksgiving, so still be thankful, let your requests be made known to God. So instead of me walking around saying, I'm anxious, they did this to me, or this is going on, I pick up this scripture, instead of saying it out of my mouth, I'll just keep saying that scripture over and over and over again. And then it says, make your requests be made known unto God. So now I'm gonna tell God, what is it that I need? This is how I'm feeling, and this is my request. So again, be thankful and make your request, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. So the peace, it, it surpasses all understanding. Many people, you know, in certain situations can't understand how, how do you find peace through the storm? How do you smile even when you're going through pain? How do you still raise your hands and praise the Lord when, when you're being afflicted? 
And that goes to the peace of God surpasses all understanding. We don't always understand how or why, but we know with God all things are possible. So if you have a precept for this specific scripture, which is Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 8, share it. Leave it in the comment section below and also share some of the scriptures that you might listen to or read or apply when you're going through a not so perfect day. Um, I'm going to close it out. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. So a few other precepts that I would, would say goes with this is Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 through 6 which is trust in the Lord, and also Isaiah 41 and 10. So if you have additional precepts, please feel free to leave them below. It's so very important that we learn how to fight. We learn how to use our, use our sword because we do have weapons to fight back when we're going through adversity. We have to also be mindful of what we speak out of our mouth because we know that life and death is in the power of our tongue. So we need to be mindful of what we're saying, what we're speaking into the atmosphere because it does in fact have power. So if you're feeling a specific way that doesn't feel so great find that scripture that relates to your situation and instead of saying that negative thing that's on the tip of your tongue read the scripture instead and in all things give praise um praise to the most high so this is one of the things that i do when i'm having a not so fantastic day is i just keep fighting and i keep getting up and i keep finding the bright side and i keep doing it and doing it and doing it and then before i know it i made it through so wanted to share my strategy if you have an awesome strategy also make sure you leave that in the comment section below so thank you for tuning in to the wendy inspired channel and for joining our special thursday segment i appreciate your support i appreciate your subscriptions i appreciate your thumbs up your comments and your shares and i will see you next time this weekend on the wendy inspired channel make it a great day Bye.